We've got a lot of new juicy gameplay footage from the new Spider-Man game in this coverage trailer and I'm just going to do a little breakdown on the stuff I've seen and would like to point out to the internet. That's you guys. Hey sexy people. So yeah, let's go. Uh, bear in mind this is all alpha footage which means it's a basic build of the game um, and it's not going to look as polished as the beta build of the game will be or the final product. Um, but yeah. It still looks really impressive nevertheless. Okay, so let's get into the swing of things. Let's go. Okay, so the first shot we see is of Spider-Man perched on something, doing his Spider-Man stuff, looking over the city. And uh, New York looks really colourful, looks really nice. Uh, you've got loads of like blues and reds and greens and browns. And uh, if you just look uh, in front of Spider-Man, you can see a bunch of people on a rooftop um, gathered round having some kind of social gathering uh, underneath an umbrella and I just think it's really cool because the city seems very lively and the fact that you get to see all these civilians interacting and stuff it makes you as Spider-Man feel as if you're looking after all these people and that is just the job of a superhero to look out for everyone um, so I think that's cool uh, especially because I guess you're not used to seeing like civilians at a rooftop level everyone sort of on the ground level so I, I don't know it, it just sort of reminds me of Spider-Man Homecoming where Spider-Man's swinging to get to the bad guys in the van and then he's swinging through neighborhoods and through parties and stuff and he's like saying hello to everyone um, just interacting with dogs and stuff whilst he uh, whilst he's superheroing about and I, I just think it's really cool another cool thing dirt there's dirt in this game dirt confirmed uh, the buildings are very grimy um, they're not perfectly clean which is it's cool it just adds character and makes New York feel very lived in well done insomniac doing a good job okay next this is what everyone wants to see a swinging footage oh yes so we've got spider-man free falling which is very reminiscent of um, the opening sequence in the amazing spider-man 2 where you get to see spidey just falling uh, before he starts swinging away and what we see is spider-man going really fast but if you watch this in slow motion you'll see that spider-man moves forwards before he even attaches to his web uh, which is a bit concerning considering it, it just means uh, the timings off in the animations but again it's alpha footage so I'm sure the final product is just gonna look very seamless and smooth so I don't think it's anything to be concerned about um, and as he's swinging you get to see a little poster thing for the Daily Bugle good work JJ <laughs> and Spider-Man does a cool little move here um, which just accelerates his momentum and speed just using the buildings um, either side of him to propel himself forwards and as he does that you get a flock of birds well pigeons just flying by um, they do if you watch it in slow motion they do sort of just fade out of existence but I'm sure that's gonna look fine in the final product um, and then Spider-Man nose dives and starts swinging through the trees before it cuts out a lot of people have pointed out and I think the same as well that it looks as if there's going to be an option to nosedive in the game. If anyone's ever played the Batman Arkham games in Arkham City and Arkham Knight and Origins, if you count that, I think it's an okay game. It's a bit flawed, um, but the story's pretty good and it's not too bad. But in them games, when you're gliding around as Batman, you've got the option to nosedive and then um, you build momentum as you're falling and then you start gliding again and you've picked up a lot of momentum and speed for when you glide around the city and with the way that you've got the animation it looks as if nose diving is a thing just to accelerate speed and momentum um, so I think that's really interesting I do hope that the final product looks a lot smoother though because it is obvious he's doing a nose dive um, which is something we've never got in Spider-Man games before but I just think it's a really interesting feature for them to add and it makes sense that they'd look at something like the Batman Arkham games which are really popular and really do make you feel like Batman to draw inspiration from for Spider-Man and here we have combat footage and the fighting looks good it looks fine what I find weird or something of note is the fact that you've got a lot of graffiti underneath or surrounding this uh, manhole entrance thing um, why are there so many arrows pointing in several directions and it looks as if they're joined together I 
don't know what it means. Maybe you can go in the sewers underground, I'm not sure. Um, but just something to think about. Get your little noggins going. Another cool little animation they've done is when Spider-Man slams the bad guy into the ground. You get like a chromatic aberration effect. And yeah, it just looks cool. This, oh, I've replayed this footage so many times and I can't believe I didn't notice until someone pointed it out in the comments. Um, but Spider-Man has his classic suit. Look at it. It's got the little red back emblem thing, the round one. I, uh, I can't believe I didn't notice. Uh, it's got a black spider on the front. Um, and yeah, it looks great. It confirms what we kind of already knew, that there's alternate suits in the game. Um, some people are even saying that, that that this could be the start of the game, um, and then you acquire your new suit afterwards, which to me makes sense, I guess, because um, in the Arkham games, you start out either without a suit or with an old suit and then you upgrade to a new one which serves the story and Insomniac themselves have said that um, the new, the white emblem on the new suit does have a purpose and it's related to the story so it'll be interesting if you start off with a classic suit and that'll be such a pleasant surprise as well and then you get the new one where it's got the white emblems and I think the white emblems look really cool uh, back and front but yeah in this clip um, I think Spider-Man's maybe stopping a heist um, you've got the the demons the inner demons if that's what they're called um, and the police fighting and then Spider-Man's obviously come to save the day and maybe take a bit of cash for himself because you know rent's expensive I'm just kidding I mean I'm a little behind on my rent, rent. so here we have some kind of parking lot thingy behind a building. I'm not good with names, but I keep seeing this consolidated shipping truck thing. Um, so maybe it's part of the plot where the inner demons are using the, these lorries and trucks to um, make shipments across the city with drugs or something. Uh, you can see the truck slash lorry thing in the back with barrels in and maybe the barrels um, contain some kind of poison or whatever uh, so yeah oh and I forgot to mention as well uh, you get to see the number 23 in the background I'm not sure if that means anything but we do know Spider-Man is 23 in the game um, and I'm gonna be 23 when, when the game comes out as well so that, that's cool now this footage is cool Spider-Man doing parkour stuff good stuff Pete and if we just pause it the rooftops look incredible it everything just looks very detailed um, you've got bits of smoke coming up out of smoke pipes. <laughs> you see a helicopter in the background, well, two helicopters, and the city looks massive, like really huge. And I feel like with the way that the rooftops are very detailed and cluttered in a good way, that it's just another means for Spider-Man to traverse. Um, I feel like swinging's always been the main focal point, but the fact that you can run along rooftops and just do flips off stuff and bounce off of walls it, it's just uh it's nice because i feel like the momentum doesn't stop when you swing you you climb up onto a rooftop or you run onto a rooftop and then you carry on running and then you can maybe either carry on jumping from rooftop to rooftop and then uh get to wherever you need to be from there or you can carry on swinging and it just feels like as Spider-Man you'll be able to move non-stop, which is great. I love it. So, even more swinging footage. Um, this is something we've seen before in the E3 gameplay trailer. But Spider-Man is wall running and he does that little thing where he sort of webs himself around the corner of a building to carry on moving and uh, it just looks really good. I've only just started playing Web of Shadows on the PS3 and I never realised that that was something that you can do in that game as well where Spider-Man just sort of carries on running along a wall then going around the corner and then just carrying on running again. So I'm glad that they're doing this in this game as well but from what I've heard and I think I've seen in an interview as well they've said that um, you actually press a button on the D-pad to, I think, just change direction as you're running on the wall so you can carry on around a corner or just jump off the building instead and then carry on swinging. 
So it seems as if there's a lot of different options for uh, traversal and a lot of buttons that you can use just to, uh, I don't know, just, as I said before, just carry on moving and keep your momentum going as Spider-Man. And more swinging footage, we can never get enough of this. Um, this one sees Spider-Man going really fast, but part of me thinks it's kind of been sped up as well. I don't think Insomniac would do this where they'd intentionally speed up the footage, but it just seems very framey, I guess. Um, it doesn't look the smoothest, but it's alpha footage again, so I'm guessing the final product will be a lot more smooth. But yeah, you do get a great sense of speed and direction. You get the buildings blurring past you as you move. And then you see Spider-Man nosedive again, which, which I'm really beginning to believe is a thing you can do. And this animation I love when Spider-Man shoots his web and then he sort of spins around in the air as he's attached onto the web. And I'm pretty sure they just took this animation thing from uh, The Amazing Spider-Man 2 in the film, where Spider-Man free falls, he shoots his web, and then um, as he moves forward, uh, he does a little twirl, and it looks really cool. I know a lot of people don't like The Amazing Spider-Man 2, but Spider-Man swinging looked incredible in that film. It looks great, it, it really does. So yeah, I remember Insomniac, maybe Insomniac said it themselves, but I, I remember reading some of the, they were going to add more swinging animations, and I'm so glad they've done that, because it just adds to how alive Spider-Man feels and how much control you have over this character. And surprise, surprise, even more swinging footage. Spider-Man does that sort of web zip thing he does in the gameplay trailer we got before, um, where he sort of web zips onto a perch point and if you actually look in the bottom left corner you can press L2 and R2 to perch but then you've got the option to press X to um, launch yourself off that perch point and that to me seems very reminiscent of um, Batman Arkham Knight where you use your grappling hook and you grapple onto a point and if you hold X you can actually propel yourself forwards. Again, it seems as if they're taking cues and influences from the Batman Arkham games. Another thing I want to mention as well, this hood looks different to what we've seen in the gameplay trailer and I'm not sure which one we're getting. And you also get to see the option to throw. If you press L1 and R1, you get to throw something. I'm guessing that's gonna be for like when you're in combat. On the map as well, we've got, I'm, I'm gonna look really close. That to me looks like a teapot or maybe a coffee pot. I'm British, so I'm gonna say a teapot. It's probably a coffee pot. I'm not sure why they'd have that, but maybe you can go on dates in the game, because Mary Jane's in the game, so maybe you get to go on a date with Mary Jane, get some coffee, or maybe it's a place where Spider-Man can change into Peter Parker, and uh, you also get to see a purple icon, which looks like it could be a car crash or something, I'm not sure but just another random event that you get across the city. I really like this last shot, well, one of the last shots where Spider-Man's stopping this uh, truck lorry thing. I really need to look up names and their definitions. Um, it kicks out an inner demon guy and then stops the vehicle. And the, the animation looks incredible, with the sparks going off, uh, the smoke, the fact that the door opens, because um, there's just a lot of pressure and force being applied to the vehicle, uh, the vehicle wobbling about, just Spider-Man grunting and you see bits of the car just flying up in the air. It just looks really cool and there's a lot of attention to detail and I love it and I feel like it's shots like this where the white emblems really stand out, especially with Spider-Man's eyes as well, it, it, it just looks really good. And for the final shot we have pigeons confirmed, well we saw them before but even more confirmed, just chilling on rooftops and Spidey's gonna go over and say hello. Um, you can see he is, he's apprehended a bunch of thugs and they're all webbed up. I like how the ball of thugs is just dangling away and it's tilting from side to side. Uh, you've got grimy buildings in the background as well. And yeah, just a lot of variety in uh, rooftops and the height and what's on them. Oh, I think you can see people on the rooftop as well like before. I'm just slowly looking at everything in the background and can see people, so that's cool. Um, it makes me wonder if like you find some bad guys on a rooftop and then you have civilians like nearby in the background and they're sort of watching and cheering you on. I think that would be cool. Yeah, that's just an idea. 
Uh, so yeah, that seems to be everything. Um, if you look behind the developers, you get to see the Spider-Man Funko Pops that uh, were sort of leaked before, but you can see them behind the developers there, and those should be coming out soon as well. Okay, so that's it for the trailer breakdown. I probably missed some stuff, so if there's anything you've spotted, then just leave it in the comments below, and uh, yeah. I really can't wait to play this game, I'm just so much more excited seeing this gameplay footage. The release date can't come soon enough, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.